Tonight on Garage Time, we continue working on our 1968 Volkswagen Beetle 1500cc engine teardown. Alright, so since the last, our first part we've showed, we've actually done some work uh, getting us to the next stages of the project, but uh, I'm going to start explaining a few of the things we've done. So, we did rip off both heads and discovered a major problem. Um, on this cylinder head you can see our valve, maybe you can't see so great, but this valve is sunken in quite a bit and the camera won't pick it up, but actually the seat has fallen out. So obviously this head would need to be rebuilt. It's been rebuilt too many times in my opinion. I don't like it, so we're going to go ahead and order a brand new head. But before I jump to that conclusion, if you can see down the side, what we, we noticed right away. So took off our rocker arm, and as we were taking off our rocker arm, we noticed this valve spring kept growing and growing and growing while the others had stopped. So you can see that that is obviously indicating the undercut on the inside that happened. And once we... <coughs> Excuse me, once, once we were at the point where we actually loosened the nuts completely, pulled our rocker assembly off, uh, someone had put washers in between the rocker arm assembly and the head actually to hold the rocker arm out. Again, trying to compensate for this valve issue here. So the engine was surprisingly running. It was seemed to be running okay, but it, it's we've discovered this we're not putting an engine back together like that. We have it apart, so we are going to fix it. This is what we found underneath. So usually there's a little O-ring, rubber O-ring there. These extremely thick washers that actually looks like your cylinder head nut washers, but extremely thick washers were there, which would change the whole geometry of your rocker arms, um, impact the performance and how the engine operates. And again, you can see from this angle too, like this valve is just offset so much. This is what the previous owner was trying to compensate with these arms, but our washers. But by doing that, you're you're impacting geometry on all your valves. So we don't like I said, we don't like that. We're ordering a new head. Well, the camera is closer. You might get a better look, but you can see the seat. It's not even sitting properly. Like the seat, the seat's disengaged itself from the head right now. It, it, it's no good. This is um, garbage in our eyes, so a new one will be on the way. Since we have pulled the engine apart, here's a shot of the old pushrod tubes. Obviously they weren't damaged this bad. I damaged them pulling them out, but here's a shot of a new one beside it. So we've gone to the stainless steel tubes. Uh, it is an issue or a weak point on your old Volkswagen. They get rusty, they leak. Stainless, stronger, won't rust. So that's what we opted for. Now, one thing, putting these side by side, you notice is the end on the one side is quite a bit longer than the other. Now, this is the first time I've ever gotten pushrod tube with one end that's significantly, it's about twice the length of the other side. So after doing some thinking, I decided the long end should go into the block. Um, they are slightly tilted when the motor is assembled, so you want oil running down. And when I dry fit it with it the other way, and this was inside the head, it actually looked like it would get in the way of the rocker arm, and it wouldn't allow engine oil to drain out of the head back in it would it would block it so long end we put into the block and make sure it might not pick up so well on the camera but pushrod tubes do have a seam you want that seam pointing up when you install them on the engine so if Sean pans over here the one cylinder head was good we've cleaned it and we've put our new push rods in that side so that side is good to go. When our new head arrives, we'll complete assembly on the other side. 
Okay, so now we're showing you the fan alternator assembly. Now I know in this episode it seems like we're just showing you a lot of things we've already done. Uh, the point I'm showing this, I, I didn't really think of it as something that people needed to see. It's a standard task, remove the fan and plate, put it on, like remove it off the alternator or generator, put it on your alternator. But then I got to thinking, I remember struggling and trying to do all different things with this nut and you know how, how do you hold your old alternator assembly and whatnot the answer is use an impact gun anyone out there is trying to do this struggling trying to keep your fan from spinning or your alternator or generator from spinning 36 mil impact gun it comes right off when you go to put it back on i always like to put a little loctite on my nut tighten it up uh, if this fan comes off while it's running major major damage I've seen even one of the blades come off and you have an aluminum head. It, it does lots of damage, right? So if I was doing a performance engine, I definitely go up to a welded fan. This is a stock 1500 cc engine. We sprayed some degreaser on it. We're using the stock fan. All right, so our new alternator is assembled. The last thing I wanna point out this little slot in the bottom, it's actually an airway. Not sure how well you can see it there, but on the tin or the sheet metal that you put on the back of your alternator, that's an airway. It gets air from the fan into your alternator, help cool your alternator or your generator. When you assemble this back in the engine, that should face down. So that should face the block. So when you assemble, when you bolt this assembly together, obviously you want your wire connections on the top because that's the way it's going in with that on the bottom. I know I said a lot, hopefully it's clear. And we'll show you when we're assembling. So as you can see, after tonight's episode, we have to order some parts, but we will uh, continue on and uh, we'll show you how to put it back together in part three. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.